I've gotten quite a lot of comments about animation in the past, so I figure it's about time we start doing some. Hey guys, welcome back to Stats by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to do a bit of animation today. Uh, I have here the character Vincent, which is a demo file from the Blender website. I'll leave the link down in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. Uh, and this rig is actually really amazing. Um, it has very many controls you can go ahead and just use here. Um, but really quickly what I've done is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and show you that I've gone through and clicked every single piece of Vincent here. So this is pretty much all of his body here. You can see all of his body. And I pretty much just uh, downsized a couple things and turned off the subsurf modifier so we can get a bit more frames while animating. And I also uh, selected his face here. And I've done the same thing. I've gotten rid of the subsurf modifier. I downsized all those. And I've gotten rid of the subsurf. And we can actually go ahead and get rid of the smooth as well. But those, those are already off. So uh, we don't need to worry about that. But you just worry about the uh, subsurf modifier and make sure that is turned off. And you can also do that same thing with the hair as well. If I can grab the hair. It, there we go. I'll do the same thing with the hair to get a few more frames. All right. So uh, now I don't want to make this animation too long because I don't want to drag this video out. So all, what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and get him in a resting pose. So I'm, I'm going to grab his hands here. I'm going to turn on automatic keyframing for this. And I'm just going to move his hands down. Hit G. Move his hands down. Just want to start from a resting position here. And uh, I, I recommend going ahead and if you're using this rig, uh, I, I really recommend going ahead and, uh, and getting familiar with the rig first. Like uh, just go ahead and grab a couple of these pieces and see how they move the rig, you know, just see what's going on with a lot of them, you know. Uh, just to get a bit more acquainted with things. All right, so now that we have everything set up, what I want to do here is I'll take his arms, and I kind of want to do a little bit of a pointing motion. So we'll go ahead and make him point, um, and he's going to be kind of happy. So what we'll, go, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, I move his arms down. Uh, we'll have him point, so we'll raise his, raise his arm up, maybe about uh, frame 20. Insert a uh, rotation and location there, so hit G and left click. We have automatic keyframing on, uh, and on frame 30, he'll have his arm up about right there check it from all different angles moving around a little bit and his wrist looks broken right now but we'll fix that in a second so we'll go ahead and have him point maybe his maybe have his arm tucked in a, a little bit more closer to his torso and we'll rotate his hand with R X and R Y uh, and R Z a little bit yeah, all right something like that all right so now we have him raising his arm up it looks like he's going for a handshake right now but we'll fix that in a second um, uh, and I actually want to I actually want to do this with this other hand over here too but so we'll put this one a little bit behind this this uh, this other arm we'll insert uh, hit G in left click uh, we'll go a little bit further actually we'll do that on frame 25 frame 25 we'll have him raise his other arm G left click and then uh, frame 35 we'll have him actually get to where it's supposed to be all right put pull them both pretty close to his uh, to his torso, rotate him a little bit. Maybe this one's a bit higher. All right, something like that. All right. All right, now we need to fade these a little bit. So they look like they're kind of just jagged and kind of stop right there instantly, and nothing really stops instantly. He's not a robot. Um, so I kind of want to have them go up and then come back down. So they'll go up like that, maybe. I don't want to go on straight axes because that looks... Uh, kind of robotic as well so I'll go ahead and make him go up now so now his left hand's going up a little bit afterwards and now he'll go back down and maybe out a little bit and then I'll pull his arms back in pull the arm back in all right so uh, just a bit of a base animation here all right looking pretty good so far let's do this other hand over here and I, I'm not doing them. I'm not doing them together because I want to get the animations separately because nothing ever happens exactly together. Um, so I'll go ahead and raise that one up, down and out, and back in. I want to go ahead and kind of get his body into this motion right now. So I'll go ahead and uh, insert a couple keyframes when he's moving his arms out. I kind of want him to to back up and go down a little bit. So we'll have him on this keyframe right here and the keyframe. And then when he's moving, he'll go back and down a little bit, maybe something like that. And then when his arms go up, he will come forward uh, just a little bit, maybe something like that. And then he'll come backwards. If you need a bit of reference, you can always get up. Like I said, you can always get up and, uh, and do this yourself. 
um, to see exactly how you want him to move or how you think he would move um, in any situation. Go ahead and just GYGX to move him on the different axes. Uh, that's way too quick. As you can see, it looks like he's kind of popping. So we'll go ahead and that's a bit too far. He's leaning anyway. So we'll go ahead and pull that back and pull it up a little bit. Go ahead and fix that up. And we will also, like I said, open up the dope sheet with that triangle. Hit that box. Open up the dope sheet. Um, in the master torso, we'll go ahead and move these keyframes out because that's too fast. Uh, looking pretty good. So what I want to do is move out uh, those two a bit more. Let me move this last one way far back. All right, maybe we can get rid of the last one altogether. I think it looks a bit better leaning forward, so we'll go ahead and make him lean even more forward um, as time progresses. So go ahead and do something like that, maybe, just so we have some constant motion, like I said before. I don't want him to just kind of stop moving and then maybe go back a little bit in the end. Something like that. All right, so that was pretty good so far. What I want to do is I want to rotate um, I'm going to rotate a couple of these uh, points of interest here. I want to rotate his torso a little bit. So we'll go ahead and hit G, add in, an, add in a keyframe there. On, uh, and we want him to kind of move, move, uh, move down a little bit, something like that maybe. And then when he goes to do the point, he'll move down even more. And then maybe he'll go back up and up and up. All right. All right, looking pretty good so far. He's getting a little, a little bit less stiff, so we'll go ahead and move his neck so it doesn't move exactly in line with his torso now. So uh, on uh, the first frame, we'll add in, we'll hit G, left click once again. Uh, he's, he's rotating a little bit. I want his head to kind of stay back, so I'll rotate it. I rotate it on the x-axis so it stays looking at the camera. Just just going through the motion, like if he if he hits the back right there, if, if he hits the, uh, the last spot and he kind of starts moving... A different direction I kind of want to jolt his head a little bit and when he's moving back I don't want him to move his head back with it that's a bit too stiff so something like that maybe maybe I want him to move his head down when he's going down like Maybe not that fast. Yeah, not that fast. Go ahead and open up the dope sheet once again. Like I said, trial and error here. What we're going to do is go ahead and move some of these back. Uh, go ahead. Take a look at that now. It's a bit too fast still. And that's that keyframe right there is the one that's, uh, that's causing us some trouble. Move that one over. Maybe even more. And while he's looking down like that, I kind of want to have him bend a little bit, so we'll bend him down. And then uh, and then maybe back down right there as well. Probably too fast. Eh, maybe not. I kind of like that. All right, so uh, what we'll do is I'll go ahead and now actually we'll do the point now. Um, what I want to do with this is we will take um, we'll take his hand here. And uh, and we'll grab grab this first finger. And instead of curling them all, what we'll do is we'll grab these three. See if we can curl just these. Oh, nope. See if we can curl. There we go. We'll curl those right there. Frame right here where he's lifting his hand up, and we'll start to do that. Um, we'll start to do that curl right there. Alright now, so I've curled up uh, his fingers now, we got a little bit of a point going on here. 